Live from WSLS, this is 10 News at 6, working for you. Prices at the pump are still hovering near the record high. How recent steps by the White House may impact your wallet. Plus, a somber symbol for child abuse. Why these kinds of cases may be a lot worse than you think. And a big change for a local landmark. Could we soon see a facelift for the Mill Mountain Star? Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Carlin. And I'm Rachel Lucas. There's some hope tonight that relief could be on the way for that pain at the pump we've all been feeling. Yeah, this after the Biden administration announced plans to release a million barrels of oil from U.S. reserves each day. 10 News reporter Courtney Lockie is working for you to find out if it will be enough. In effort to push gas prices down, the Biden administration will release 1 million barrels of oil each day for the next six months from the U.S. Petroleum Reserve. The move would free up as much as 180 million barrels of oil, the largest release in history. Putin's war is imposing a cost on America and our allies and democracies around the world. Drivers are hit with record gas prices as a result of disruptions to the oil market, like the pandemic and the U.S. ban on Russian oil imports. Gas prices are up 64 cents this month in Virginia. Just word of that announcement yesterday seems to have had a positive impact on crude oil prices. We want to see crude oil prices come down because ultimately that should help bring pump prices down. However, experts warn just because the price of crude oil has gone down, it doesn't mean gas will. When crude spikes in price, prices go up at the pump immediately. And when crude starts to drop in price, the prices go down slowly at the pumps. Experts say it's a false relief. As long as the conflict continues in Ukraine, uncertainty in the market will drive up prices. And it's not just gas. The surge in prices has helped push inflation to its highest point in decades. Gas prices impact almost everything in our economy. And it's not just us going to the pump and filling up. It's moving goods from one place to another. Experts feel the president's move will have a modest impact, saying... It can't make up for all the oil, diesel, and other fuels Russia used to sell to the world. Courtney Lockie, 10 News, working for you. Campbell County Public Schools unveiled two new buses this morning, but unlike the rest of their fleet, these are electric. They cost about $720,000 each, but a grant from AEP covers a majority of the price. A local company built the wheels and says that by replacing one diesel bus with an electric one, it eliminates 15 tons of greenhouse gases each year, but more clean energy requires more money. These buses are very expensive right now, about three times what a regular bus costs. But the, the, the way to get the price down is to increase the volume. 50 buses rolled out across the Commonwealth last year. 30 more will be delivered later this year. Some will be going to Amherst, Bedford and Montgomery counties. The city of Roanoke wants to help you lower your electric bill and help the environment. The city partnered with LEAP, Local Energy Alliance Program, for the second annual Solarize Roanoke initiative. The goal is to make solar power more accessible and affordable for homeowners and businesses. It's a great benefit. It saves you money and um, it helps to save the environment as well. Right now, Right now, the solar income tax credit is 26%, but it's going to drop to 22% at the end of this year. All right, how about if we turn our attention to the forecast tonight? It has been dry and windy and chilly today. Yes, it has. And some areas may actually be seeing frost in the morning, so oh. it just kind of goes from bad to worse. <laughs> Delaney, uh, I, what do we need to expect this weekend? It seems like a lot. Yeah, you know what? Even though we are going to be starting off very chilly, we're going to warm up nicely. We have seasonal temperatures on the way for this weekend, and not only that, but some calmer winds, at least for Saturday. We're getting you out to our sky cam over in Blacksburg, still holding on to some clouds, but significant improvement from what we started our day off with today. You're at 45 degrees. But you factor in our gusty winds are coming in from the northwest anywhere from about 15 to 25 miles per hour for 
your area at least sustained. Of course, gusting stronger, but it's causing that 45 to feel more like 37. And we have more of this on the way for this evening. Even though those winds are gradually going to be decreasing, it's still going to cause our temperatures to feel a little bit chillier. You're actually currently at 39 degrees over in Lewisburg. That's one of our cooler spots. You head back towards south side and you're just recently getting out of the 60s now at 58 over in Danville here in Roanoke, just shy of reaching into the 40s. So as we go throughout the next few hours, temperatures are going to be fairly slow to drop, at least initially, but we do have a cold morning ahead of us. We're going to break down your weekend forecast coming up. John. A somber symbol in the Roanoke Valley today. Volunteers planted a pinwheel garden to raise awareness for child abuse prevention. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett explains how prevalent the problem is and what you can do about it. 3,500 pinwheels spinning in the breeze. A symbol of the carefree childhood every kid deserves, but not all have. April marks National Child Abuse Prevention Month. Friday, volunteers planted this pinwheel garden at Virginia Western Community College's Arboretum to raise awareness. We want them to see those pinwheels and be reminded that all children deserve a, a happy childhood. Brenna Sullivan, the Director of Development for Children's Trust, a nonprofit devoted to fighting child abuse through intervention, prevention, and advocacy, says as a mom, it's hard to fathom. There are children that perhaps don't receive the care or the love that they truly deserve. At least one in seven children were abused or neglected in the last year, according to the CDC. In 2020, Children's Trust reported nearly 16,000 abused children in the Roanoke Valley alone. Though Sullivan fears the numbers are grossly underreported. During the pandemic lockdowns, kids were not in school where mandated reporters like teachers and counselors could check in on them. Official reports to child protection agencies dropped by 20 to 70 percent across the country. About 90 percent of children who are victims of sexual abuse know their abuser, whether it's a relative, church member, or someone at school. Volunteer Nicole Dudding wants kids to know it's not their fault. It's heartbreaking. Um, as a mother, I can't imagine a child going home to an unsafe place where they don't have anybody that they can trust. She says it's up to the entire community to be an advocate for all children. So that children will trust adults to be able to come forward and have someone to talk to. In Roanoke, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. And if you uh, suspect that there is abuse or neglect, you can call the anonymous child help hotline through the number that's on your screen right now. A bill that recently passed in Richmond could end up changing the lives of thousands of children who don't have a place to sleep at night. The legislation will allow homeless youth over the age of 14 to access shelter without a guardian. We're told this could be a pivotal change to ensure safety and stability for children in Roanoke schools, where right now 64 students are unaccompanied. This is a one opportunity, maybe the only opportunity that that young person has to get all of those, all of those supports, all of those things kind of there for them to really, truly, truly help them break that cycle of homelessness. The law will go into effect July 1st. Coming up, honoring heroes, the special display recognizing those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Had a chance to raise a glass while making a difference, the new beer benefiting local animal rescues.